This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Well, I didn't have time to think up of an intro, so I wrote this sentence to set up the next sentence. It's Memorial Day, and we had a lot going on because of region baseball and softball tournaments getting underway across the coverage area. Let's go, Pikeville champion of the 59th District, meeting McGoffin County in the opening round of the 15th Region Softball Tournament. Pikeville down two in the third, but threatening. Cameron Sloan grounds it short, base is loaded, but Jazzy Howard gets the out at home. Great throw there by double zero, but the Lady Panthers, uh, they do get another run. Alexis Stanley scores on the ground out to first, but it's McGoffin County who rolls on to the semis 10 to 8 over Pikeville. Cheryl's girls, it's the four-time defending 14th region softball champ Shirley Beard and her Estill County Lady Engineers taking on Jackson City in round one of the 14th. Estill done its damage in the first inning. Abby Winkle does enough to score Sarah Wiseman as she trips over home plate. Everybody gets a good laugh out of that one, but it's three to nothing Estill County. But the play of the day goes to McKinley Meek. Jack's one deep to right that ball. It rolls to the fence. Haley Bishop, Haley Puckett score, but wait, here comes Meek. Slide game real strong. That's an inside the Parker. Estill County wins 10 to nothing in five innings. Bottom half of the 14th region bracket, Kaylee Mullins and Leslie County facing off with Powell County. Leslie down five to four in the fifth, but Morgan Pugh's dinger will give the Lady Eagles the lead. Take a look at that. That thing was just obliterated. Six to four, Leslie County. Then in the seventh, Michaela Rucker gets it through. The second base gap, that ties the game at six, but Leslie with clutch hits in the bottom half to win it 10 to nine over Powell County. All right, 13th region softball action getting started from Knox Central with the North Laurel Lady Jaguars and the Middlesbrough Lady Jackets. Nice defense here by Middlesbrough early on. Taylor Yoakum, she spins around a few times to get that catch right there. So we're scoreless through one. Peyton Gregory in the circle for North. She was dealing, taking down all three batters in order to end the inning, still scoreless though until the bottom of the second that is. Bats started working for the Lady Jags, 2-1 for Gracie Jervis, sends one to center. She's out, but uh, two runs score easily. Jervis to third, she uh, catches the pitcher asleep and runs in for the third run scored and North Laurel goes on to win it 4-1. All right, a whole lot of orange in this next game. The 51st District champ, Link Camp, taking on the 50th runner-up. Williamsburg top of the first jackets in scoring position and a pass ball gets Williamsburg on board first. It's Kayla Gibson scores from third. They have the early one nothing lead bottom of the second link camp with the bases juice down two to nothing two outs and Kelsey Ty gets Chastity Markham to swing for strike three. The orange team from Williamsburg advances on 11 to two over link camp bottom half of the 13th region softball bracket the 50th district champ South Laurel and the 51st District runner up Knox Central pick it up bottom of the second South Laurel leading three to nothing. They add to it. Kinsey Jervis. That's an RBI. It's four nothing Lady Cards. Santa Lawson in the circle for South and she was dealing like Jervis uh, three straight strikeouts in order in the third and South Laurel heads into the semifinals. They win it over Knox Central 10 to nothing in six innings. That game just going final 15th region. We got some baseball now. Let's go out to that tournament. Allen Central and Shelby Valley opening play bright and early this morning. 10 a.m. The Wildcats strike early and often. Ty Riddle with a grounder through the infield. Austin Ellswick scores easily from third. Now Hunter Swindle adds a two run single to right later in the inning. And check this out. We got a nice slide here at home. Shelby Valley moves on to the semifinals 9 to 5 over Allen Central. Sean Hall and Johnson Central take it on Chris Lawson and Pike Central in game two. Golden Eagles all over the Hawks in this one. Blake DeLong pulls one through the right side there. Two runs across the plate in the bottom of the first. Still in the first. Blake Gamble now. He singles home Jordan Blanton. JC with seven runs in the first in route to the 10 0 win over Pike Central in round one. Now to 14th region baseball. Perry Central taking on Powell County in round one. Bottom one, no score. Braxton Cotton game. Lines one into right field. That scores Evan Hurt for the first run of the game. Hurt, uh, he was also dealing from the bump. One, two, and three. Strikes out the side in the second inning. Perry Central wins 12 to two in six innings. 
and advances to the semifinals. Let's find out who Perry will play. Cam Turner, he got the start for Jackson City. The Tigers playing Letcher Central. Things not going well for Turner in the first. Pitch gets away there. Andrew Fields slides in nice and safe. one nothing Cougars. Then the freshman, uh, John Potter. He gets a hold of one. Christian Borderdorp, he's getting dirty. Knocks out the catcher, and he's safe. Letcher Central, they're moving on today, too. Final score, 12-4. Back out to the uh, 13th for some baseball. First game of the day from Limcamp High School, Corbin Harlan County in the first round of the 13th region tournament. First inning was a productive one for the Red Hounds. Peyton Buford rolls one to the fence in right field. That scores the first run of the game for Corbin, and they weren't even close to being done, by the way. A few batters later, Chase Eastep. Shooting one into left. Another run scores for the Red Hounds. Five runs for Corbin, or excuse me, eight runs for Corbin in that inning, and they cruise in five innings over Harlan County, 10 to nothing. Whew, I'm going to catch my breath, go back out, shoot some more highlights. Much more to come tonight at 11. Thank Josh and Lauren for getting their highlights in as well. We'll be back.